हेलो फ्रेंड दिस रूपेश एंड यू आर वाचिंग सीपीपी नेट्स वीडियो सीरीज ऑन बिट मैनिपुलेशन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज एंड दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन यू वुड ऑलरेडी सीन इन द थंबनेल दैट व्हाट इज दिस वीडियो अबाउट दिस इज अबाउट फाइंडिंग द सेट बिट्स इन एन इंटीजियर नंबर व्हाट इज दैट इफ योर नंबर इज वन देन द बाइनरी रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ दिस इज जीरो जीरो वन आई मीन आई मीन इफ वी कंसिडर थ्री बिट रिप्रेजेंटेशन इफ योर नंबर इज टू देन योर बाइनरी रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज zero one zero if this is three then we have zero double one if this is four then we have one double zero okay you should know what is bits so that is the prerequisite so as you can see that if you have this number three we have two set bits so this is set bit one and one and if this is zero meaning it is not set so let's understand this with the example of three okay we know three is having two set bits right here so the traditional way is i'll have a while loop till x and x i mean i can have a count or a variable set is equal to x modulo division 2 and now if i'll do this if set is there then count plus plus and x divided by 2 okay so this is going to be a traditional way so if x is 3 we have 3 modulo division 2 answer would be 1 so set is 1 so if set is 1 then count plus plus count becomes 1 initially it will be 0 and then you will divide this x with 2 so x will be 1 now because 1.5 is not the number for integer and this is for integer numbers okay so we have 1 so we'll check if 1 is true yes it is true we'll come back 1 modulo division 2 answer is still 1 then you will have this true count plus plus count will be 2 now see count is 2 now and then we'll come here 1 divided by 2 this time it is going to be 0 and then we'll check is this 1 i mean is this true no it is not we'll break the loop and our count is 2 now so this is a traditional way and the problem is you have this modulo operator which is a costly process okay this is really very costly it really does what it says do we have some better way and the answer is bit manipulation let me show you that now we have the same while loop x is 3 let's say we have count is equal to 0 for now we'll come inside this and we have this if if x and operation 1 is true then we have this count plus plus otherwise what we'll do x is equal to x right shift 1 that's it this is the whole magic i have already explained you like how to find if some number is odd or even okay so see your 3 is odd okay so 0 1 1 now if you will end this with let's say i'm writing it like this 0 0 1 the end would be 0 0 1 again so this tells that this particular number is set then only you can have a true result meaning the answer of this can be true only when this first position is having 1 so now you have counted that okay i have found 1 and then what we do we have done this right shift on this number so this number is changed now now x is right shifted so if 3 which is 1 0 is right shifted once then the answer is 0 0 1 okay so now x is changed to 1 now with this and then we'll again go x is 1 so it is true x is 1 so now we have this this operation is like we have 0 0 1 0 0 1 and operation the result is still 0 0 1 meaning this is resulted as true so we'll count this plus plus again meaning we have this second count now so we'll come down x is right shifted one time this will become zero now so this one is gone so we have 0 0 0 x is zero now we'll go and check x is zero yes we'll break the loop and our count is 2 okay we incremented two time so it was easy right just do the right shift and check if your last bit is still set then you have one in that and you keep counting correct right so Thanks for watching guys bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos